Do Twinkies taste better in other countries? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. What if I told you that Nutella tastes different in different countries? I'd say feed me. And Flamin' Hot Doritos, same company, different international ingredients. Feed me. Diet Coke? Drink me. Twinkies? Twink me. Can we spot our country snacks better than a bald eagle wearing binoculars strapped to a telescope? What? That makes sense. It's time for Same Munchy Different Country Snacks Edition Part 2. As you can see, we can't. Okay, in every round, we're gonna be presented with multiple versions of the same product, and one of them is from America. That's the one that we're trying to identify. Cause we're um, the Americans. Okay, and in the end, cause we're playing against each other, in the end, whoever wins gets a international American product. Right. We're starting off with some Nutella. That's what we used to say, man. Nutella? Nutella. Is this Nutella or I still say Nutella. Nutella. I ain't I ain't changing up. There's an American one that we gotta put our hands over after a three, two, one, but there's also an Italian what? version. What? Italy. You're getting in on the Okay. I've already got that, I've already got Oh, one. you already yeah. got So if you feel a bowl, okay. that's yours. So I, I'm over here in front of in front of you, and we're just gonna lick these. Uh-huh. Stevie, no audible reaction to this. Mm. I can only get so much with my tongue. Mm. So it's cocoa and a hazelnut? Is uh -huh. that what it is? Okay, I'm over here now. I may be getting messy, I'm not real sure. I'm trying to get all the Nutella off so it doesn't become old Tella. Is this, I, my, I already made that joke, you, you were talking. Though. Oh really? Yeah. Our instincts are so similar. Yeah. I'm just a little also, late to the game. That's like a really low-hanging fruit joke. That's why two middle-aged men made it back to back in about 45 seconds. Well, my fruit hangs lower than yours. <laughs> oh, well, okay, that might be something you need to see your doctor about. Because <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're talking about your ball sack's real loose. <laughs> if I knew you were going to... Uh, unpack it in such a way I wouldn't have. I still remember this comedy all. routine from Brad Garrett. You remember Brad Garrett? He had a comedy routine. Yeah. He was like, "Well, I turned forty. You know how I know? When I sit on the toilet, my balls hit the water." Stop talking about this. <laughs> I'm licking something. <laughs> I mean, it's not a great joke. It's just something that really sticks in your crawl. Mm. I can't. I can't get it. I can't. I, my beard is getting in, in the way. I'm trying not to get too messy. Okay, there, I think I've. It's a very hey, it's a very subtle difference. I think I've tasted enough. One tastes more familiar than the other. In what way? Um, I don't want to tell you. I mean, I'm a, I'm I'm not a huge Nutella fan because I'm not a huge hazelnut fan, but it's in the house and sometimes it just finds its way into my mouth. Enough for me to have at least a sense of familiarity with it. Okay. You ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Three, two, one. Are you not here? We I'm disagree. Here. You yeah. guys are splitsies. Okay. The right. American Nutella is on Link's side. Ah. See, reason, I thought that one tasted more hazelnutty. I, th I thought it was sweeter, actually. Hey, so, that's it. The U.S. Yeah. version is much sweeter. It's 21 grams of sugar versus uh, Italian Nutella is 8.5 grams of sugar. Hmm. Okay, now that I know that, let me actually... But I don't think that the, um, it necessarily tastes better. Oh, wow. Yeah, when you can actually get a spoonful of it. <laughs> oh, you, that, that really helps. Blame it on the beard, <laughs> but I get the point. Okay, this round we've got flaming Hot Doritos Ooh, from, not Cheetos? Uh, not Cheetos, Doritos from Japan, Canada, Australia, and Morocco. Lots of Is it just one bowl of each options one? Options here. Yeah. Yep, warning. Lick Daddy's about to make an appearance. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's spicy. I don't know if that's because it's the first one. Okay. And I'm then. just gonna eat it just like a Dorito to begin with. I might go Lick Daddy wow! later. That's totally different. More corny. It's a totally different experience in ramekin number two. 
Yeah, but is it more American or less American? I don't know. It's definitely not as spicy. I mean, I ain't got to tell you that. I got to go back to the first one. This one has a lot of um, a lot of powder on it. Or else it's got a really powdery one. <laughs> the spice is coming hard. Mm, that's a that's a good well balanced Dorito right there. Okay. And then I'm I'm trying to I'm trying I'm to keep both all these scared straight. and impressed by Link's technique right I, now. Yeah, I'm. You know, the Lick Daddy wants to go back in, and I got to keep them straight. Hmm. Wow. The the spices are getting. I'm my mouth is getting confused at this point. Well, one of them is like cheesiest, and one of them is spiciest. And then in the, well, the other ones, I don't wanna, I don't wanna tell you. Where am I? Mm. One of them's tangier, and then one of them's. Okay. <clears throat> There's also a difference in uh, chip consistency, and one of them has the most distinctly different flavor, which I'm guessing is from Japan, but that's not what we're trying to guess. Because I can see myself visiting Tokyo and having one of these. What? Doesn't have the same effect when I got my blindfold on. To you. First ever blindfolded version. Love that. Why did actually you think freeze, Link? You froze in it. In for, for continuity. You know, time stops. Time stops when he does that. When yeah. He what? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. You American. ready? American. You're going to put your hand over the American Flamin' Hot Doritos in three, two, one. Bam! Oh, we agree. Far, farthest over. What there. are the chances, given that the. Oh, no. Oh, wow. If I'd have looked at them. No, you know what? Maybe. The, these, these are, are the, these, these are, are from reddest, Japan. Reddest ones. These are from Japan. And don't, those are the spiciest ones. Don't doubt yourselves because you're both correct. Yeah. Nice. Those are the uh, American flaming hot Doritos. And these are from Japan, right? The ones furthest on your side, Rhett, uh, are from Canada and then Australia. Oh, really? And then Japan. Canada is the spiciest. Yeah, Canada, Australia, Japan. These are the weirdest US. ones. And I didn't know Canada went spiciest. That's Australia are by far the, the most different in ingredients. So they use so canola sense. oil instead of vegetable oil. Um, they mm. have a flavor enhancer that the U.S. and Canada doesn't. They have a bunch of different fat powders and cream powders and extracts. They and they a, don't yeah. have cheese or the red and green bell pepper. They don't have powder. access to cheese in Australia? <laughs> Really? Cheese hasn't made it to the island yet? I want to take a quick moment, just a quick one, to tell you that the Mythical Kitchen channel has new videos every week! So fresh. You never know what they're going to cook up next or how messy it's going to get along the way, but you know what? That's half the fun. That's why I watch. They're going to make a mess. What's the other half? Uh, well, just, I mean, I just like their company, you know? They're yep. just pleasant people. Yep. Uh, they also have a podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, uh, where you can hear mythical chefs Josh and Nicole's culinary hot takes wherever you get your podcasts. Diet Coke. I've, I've been known to down a Diet Coke in my day. Um, I don't remember having one in Australia or the UK, which is what we have to differentiate from our so US So we're going to have to be just going with familiarity. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna go quick. Not a lot of difference. Huh. This one is this one is the most different of the three. Wow. So there's definitely something going on different with the sweeteners. Okay. It's not Coke Zero, it's Diet Coke. That's what I said. All right. Hold on. I'm zeroing in, <laughs> even though. Okay. Right. You ready? One second. Boy. I'm just, at this point, I'm just drinking Diet Coke. <laughs> this one's strange, isn't it? You're not even tasting that one again. I, it is narrowed down to these two. I know which one it is, definitively. And it ain't this one. I don't even know if I like that. Oh man, this is really, really tough. Hold Honestly, on. Honestly, I don't know if I like Diet Coke. I just drink it because it makes me feel better about myself than drinking Coke. 
Okay. American Diet Coke and three, two, one. No, man. Uh uh-uh. uh. It came down to these two, but at first I was like, this is definitely real because that one's a little bit more different and this one's way different. But then when I kept tasting and this started to taste more familiar. I'm not confident in this what choice. What is it? The American Diet Coke is in the middle. Yeah. Well, then what so is this? On Rhett's side is Diet Coke from Australia, and then on Link's side is uh, from the UK. What's the difference and here? The main difference is that both Australia and the UK use real sugar as opposed to high fructose corn syrup that we use in the US. Yeah, that that I was the only thing that I could find in there was the familiarity of the sweetness at the end after you'd already swallowed it. Mm -hmm. This one was strange. But is there something else that makes this different than Australia? Um, Australia has more carbonation than the other two, I yeah. believe. Yeah, this one definitely had less carbonation. Yeah, yeah, this one has no cheese either. <laughs> yeah, but I think it, it coming from a can is what threw me off. Oh, it's a can. Your yeah. fault, guys! And finally, we come into the final round, Tide, and just a couple of guys trying a couple of Twinkies. Well, actually four. We, we got Twinkies four, from four? America and Twinkies from Egypt, but we each have our own Twinkie. Okay, so, so four total Twinkies. Two, two Twinkies. Yeah. I'm gonna taste this Twinkie. Okay. Egyptian Twinkie. Never been to Egypt. Thought about it. Yep, never been. I'm thinking about it right now. Can you tell? Look at my face. I'm thinking about going to Egypt. Mm. Mm. At one point I had a trip planned there. Then it changed to a trip to Japan and then Something in the world happened that prevented me from traveling. A Twinkie is a nice, moist cylinder of goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a form, Whoa. There's a form factor what? difference here. <laughs> what happened? Well, Link, I, I must say you, you unfortunately lost like a tiny bit of your Twinkie. It was not pretty looking, but oh. it wasn't your fault. It just like came off on the plate. They all come in different, different shapes. This one is pristine. Okay. I'm getting to the cream now. They're pretty easy, man. Let me go back in here. Unless I've been lied to my whole life, I feel like this is pretty easy. Yeah, one of them's flatter and denser. Well, maybe they just, maybe they just, you know, maybe it was, is this mine? Maybe I still they have just my, pressed it down. I have mine in my hands. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to. I almost put this Twinkie up your sleeve like this. Yeah, put it on my, <laughs> do that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, ain't, not, ain't, ain't no downside to having a Twinkie up your sleeve. <laughs> Hand over the American Twinkie in three, two, one. I mean, if it's not this one, then what's a Twinkie, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So the, the Egyptian Twinkie is on it. Oh, there it is. There wasn't side. much of it left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it has a, a thicker, denser, darker cake, but also it doesn't have as much cream yeah. as the U.S. Twinkie, and the cream is different. It's less whipped, less fluffy, and more of like a cream cheese. Boy, I'm going to take American Twinkies over to Egypt, just stand next to the pyramids. More of a cream cheese, huh? Make a killing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all will I, love these. I, I think they're both really good. And I guess we both won, huh? So who gets what? There's a Hungry Jack's, what is this? Oh, it's a shirt. This is like if you're on the racing team for Hungry Jack's, which is the Burger King of yeah. Australia. Well, let's just see what size is And it? there's a Meister proper here. I think this might fit German you a little Mr. Bit Clean. Maybe you get the clothes because it, it fits you a little bit better. Oh, yeah. You can have, you can have uh, Meister proper. I drink this, right? All right. Bzz, bzz. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Brian. And I'm Ben. We're in Cartagena, Colombia. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Woo! Woo! Click the top link to watch us discover some pretty amazing and unique customs from all around the world and good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality's gonna land. <laughs> Just drizzling. <laughs> Gotta pump and dump sometimes, you know?